In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the 3D camera tracker inside of Adobe After Effects to track your video, add text into the video, and then create a fly through text effect inside of Adobe After Effects. So let's get into it. So we're inside of Adobe After Effects, and as you can see, I've just got some basic handheld shaky footage of me moving the camera forward. Now, what we want to do here is we want to track this scene and then we want to add some text into this scene and the camera will fly through that text as it stays anchored to this wall here or somewhere in the frame. So first we have to begin by tracking the footage. So we'll go into effects and presets and search for the 3D camera tracker. Now we'll drop the 3D camera tracker onto our footage and that's just going to take a moment to analyze the footage. So what Adobe After Effects is doing here is it's reading the camera movement and then it's going to create tracking points within the frame and then you can go ahead and create a new point from one of those tracking points which you can track text to. It sounds complicated but it's actually quite simple. So there you go. If I scrub through this video, we go back to the very beginning and we play this through. You can see there's all of these different tracking points added into our video. So each one of these crosses is a tracking point. Now, what we want to do here is we want to select one of the specific targets that we want to create a point from. So figure out where you want to add your text to. So I want to add it maybe roughly somewhere here above the path. So we'll select this target that's on the floor here. We'll select that, right click, and we'll go create text and camera. Or alternatively, we could go create a null and camera, but we may as well just keep things nice and easy and say select text and camera, create text and camera. So when we play this back, you can see that text is tracked into the scene. It's not quite perfect, so we'll have to adjust that, but it is in the scene now. So first of all, what we want to do is just go ahead and change that text. So let's go for, let's go hello. Then from there, what we want to do is we just want to rotate this forward so that it is now facing us. So we'll go into that text layer. We'll go transform. Then you can see we've got all of these different positions here. So we'll go ahead and select rotation to begin with. So we've got X, Y, and Z. So let's rotate the X and that's going to bring this up. So let's go for 90 degrees. Then we've got the Y and the Z. So let's bring the Y forward a little. And then we've got the Z as well, but I think the Z is perfect where it is. And then we've got the position. So we'll just nudge the position over a little bit like this. And we'll just decrease the scale down a touch. So basically what we're doing here is we're just adding this into the center of the frame like this. So let's play this back and see how this looks. Now that looks really good, but I'm going to actually bring this forward in space a little bit more. So we're going to go into position and we'll just bring this forward into the frame like this. So we'll line this up just behind this charging post here. Let's see how that looks. That looks really good. So as you can see, we've got to actually fly right past this letter here. Now the clip's not quite long enough. I've made that too short. So we'll bring this forward even more like this. So now it's just in front of this charging post. And there you go. That looks really cool. And of course, you can always go ahead and add another text layer if you wanted to. So we'll go ahead and create a new text. Layer. So we'll duplicate hello. And what we're going to do here is we're just going to push this back. So we'll go position and we'll push the position back. So rather than moving the scale, we want to make sure we change the position because we're working in a 3D space now. We want to push that further into the scene. So don't think of this as decreasing the size of this. Think about pushing this further into the background. If you were in an actual room and you took an object and moved it further away because of where you're standing, that would appear to be smaller than the object in the foreground. So don't mistake position for scale here. So let's see how that looks. There you go. We go through that first one. And then the second one is perfectly tracked in like this. That looks really cool. This effect does also work for 3D text as well, but this is how you would do this with 2D text in Adobe After Effects. So thank you ever so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate your support and hopefully I will see you in the next video. See you there.